So I'm headed into Lake Erie Metro Park right now, and I actually did a video um, about eh, two months ago um, of me kind of exploring the park and kind of describing to you what my thoughts about the park were and and uh, things of that nature. But uh, unfortunately, the video quality uh, wasn't that good, and I mean, this couple of clips uh, that I had on there weren't that uh, uh, they got deleted somehow, so I didn't even post the video, but um, I decided to come here though because it's getting late in the evening here on November 2nd, and uh, and while it wasn't, it's not necessarily closer to my house, this Metro Park, uh, I do know this uh, Metro Park quite well, uh, this is probably the one I've visited the most throughout uh, my life, so... Uh, I decided to come here and kind of um, uh, talk to you know, talk to you guys about it. So I'm just like uh, going through the the park office right now. But uh, but I, and last time I was here and I know I didn't post the video, but oh, so this is a. Uh, you can't see it from here. Let me, uh... So they have museum events here. November 5th, wind, wind weather history. Dazzling docks, birds, and the Bing, uh, what was it? Uh, I don't know. Some of the stuff that they have going on here. Uh, but, um... <laughs> got a funny story for you, though. Uh, one time I was, uh... Um, there's... At the entrance, there's a, uh... A flower bed, and we were young. I was probably, I, was, I had just gotten my license, so I was 16 at the time. And I let my one buddy, who wasn't even 16 yet, he didn't, he didn't have his license. I let him drive, and uh, he crashed right into the flower bed of the entrance. So we went to the A and A and W a little bit later, and uh, parked. Luckily, there's no damage, or at least, uh, none, none visibly, <laughs> and, uh, pulled out all the flowers, <laughs> we went under the car, we stopped at this A&W on the, the way back, it's, it was pretty funny looking back on it, but, uh, at the time it was pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty, uh, reckless, we actually, I had a van when I first started driving, and, uh, we used to drive through this park, and, uh, I'd sit on the, uh, we'd stand on the back of the van from the outside and uh, and go car surfing, so to speak. Uh, people used to uh, bitch at us constantly. They drive by, like you guys are idiots. Which, I mean, I guess we really weren't far from being idiots when we were doing that kind of stuff. Because that that is a very dangerous, but um, still still a great time though, <laughs> I must say. But anyways, um, Lake Erie Metro Park, and I don't know, I wasn't too excited to come here, honestly, uh, just because I've been here a million times, and it's not, it's honestly, it's not the best uh, Metro Park. You compare it to St. Clair Metro Park, and it's just not, not even in the ballpark. Um, Cove Point, that's where they go fishing, and I don't know if I'll make it over there, because it is just a point where... <laughs> they go fishing, <laughs> so um, nothing special. Um, I do wish that this place had a beach. I don't know if the, if it's possible, uh, being that the if environmentally it, it would make sense for it to uh, do that, or um, if the waves get too high or the the the, um, the currents too rough. Both of which are. Uh, Points are definitely possible why they they don't they haven't built a beach here, but it would be very cool though. I mean, if they, if they did have a beach, it is a little foggier than I uh, than I anticipated. Um, over there. I don't know if you can see across there, but that I believe is Canada. 
and for a reference point, we we are still in Wayne County. Uh, if you go just a little, little bit south on Jefferson, you'll run into uh, um, Monroe County, and that's where Lake Erie, I believe, officially starts. This could, like, this could be Lake Erie here, but I'm not sure if this is the river or the lake. Now, you can't see across right there. So, I, this is the officially Lake Erie, I believe. Okay, they're just putting up the picnic tables up for the year. It reached about 70 today. It's about, it's uh, November 2nd. And I'm in a t shirt and shorts right now. And it's getting a little chilly, but still. Uh, very nice out. And I wasn't even going to come out today. Uh, I still got a, I took down the Halloween decorations, put up the Thanksgiving decorations. And I also got to harvest the rest of my uh, hot peppers and, uh, and kale. But... We've been pretty fortunate the past couple years to get some really nice days in November. In fact, there's a beach called Sterling State Park. I posted a video of uh, a few months back in the summertime of going there and swimming. But anyways, um, in 2020, I believe, yeah, it was 2020, um, I went swimming. It was like November... I don't know, November 7th or something in Lake Erie. Um, now the water is like, well, the water was like in the 50s. I didn't stay in long. It wasn't, I mean, I've swam in October in Lake Erie before. That's, that's definitely tolerable. Uh, but I think it reached 77 in November. And I went for a swim. And I don't recommend it. It was the water was was uh, very cold. I mean, it, it was still warm outside, but uh, still don't recommend it. Now, um, we're not far from Grozeal, which is um, a little, which is technically a city, but it's a uh, it's an island as well. We'll visit there someday, but it's uh pretty affluent houses and uh right on the river and pretty cool now i believe in the there's a wildlife center or something like that over in uh somewhere in this park and they have uh it's like a it's an eagle it's not crippled but um they can't fly so they have it in a little uh you know in a big huge cage where, you, where people can visit it Tim's Luke. Um, I don't think we're gonna have a chance to uh, visit Luke today, though. And in the summertime, they have uh, a wave pool you can uh, swim at, and that's the only wave pool around that I know of. Um, and as kid, as a kid, I know you know we didn't have. Uh, I mean, we had internet, of course, but. I mean, it wasn't as convenient as today, and I mean, it's not like I just search wave pools near me, you know, on a regular basis or anything. So I do believe, from as from what I know, um, it's only wave pool in the area. Of uh, this place is uh is quite swampy in comparison to Lake uh, Saint Clair Metro Park. Uh, a lot more of a swamp feel to it, I guess. Uh, I remember in 2020 when the water levels were all high. Me and my dad came out here in March and uh, had a little uh, barbecue. And it was right, at, right in the, at the beginning of the lockdowns for uh, COVID. And uh, it was a really good time, actually, because, I mean, you couldn't go out to eat. You can... Uh, we were, everyone was stuck at home, but me and my dad decided to come here and have a little barbecue and cook some hamburgers, but 
just something to do during that time, you know, so. So I do wish I would have wore at least a hoodie out here. Uh, as the sun has gone down. But this is a nice view, though. Beautiful, uh, perfect autumn weather. And within the next couple days or so, it's supposed to be really nice in the 70s. So what I'll probably do is head over to a few other metro parks that uh, uh, I've been meaning to visit. But a lot of open field around here. Good place for to throw the football around. You know, maybe play some soccer or something. And I definitely would not say that this is the nicest metro park um, in the Detroit area, but still pretty cool. It's where, you know, right here we're facing the, like I said, the Detroit River. And, um, and over here is Lake Erie. So... So cool we get to see a great lake in Wayne County. I mean, can't complain about that. Like I said before, it would be very nice if they had a beach here where you could swim in the summertime, but it takes a takes a lot of a lot of resources to do that kind of stuff, I understand. So but a lot of places, a lot of benches where you can uh you know, to sit down and look at the water. Uh, playscapes. And great place, and good place to chill for a barbecue or something. Um, just the general amenities, I guess, that every park would have. Uh, there's no camping, uh, like at the bus Metro Park I was at, the lower here on Metro Park. Uh, which I was surprised, I didn't know that they had uh, camping in uh, uh, around in you know, the Belleville area. But anyways, still refreshing to be out here. Right there, some uh, a couple of bird houses. And this is one thing, if there's one thing that uh, that this Metro Park may be better um, at than some of the other ones. It uh, could be the the types of birds around here because um, you have one of the uh, you have one of the biggest lakes um, out of any Metro Park. You know, this, so you have uh, uh, swans and. Uh, Oh, what are those other birds that are on the water? I can't think right now. Oh, herring, maybe. Uh, and just various other types of birds, too. But, like I said, they, in, like that side side in the entrance, they have some, some sort of bird event or whatever. But, so cool. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not fascinated with it, but still pretty cool so this is a good view right here of the river and this is facing Detroit um, and over here is the lake and we're out walking over towards the the fishing point or whatever and up ahead I don't know if you can see it or not yeah it's a that's not a good view but yeah, you'll, you'll probably see it as we get closer uh, it's a border patrol cop and uh you see a lot of them around here because Canada is literally uh, less. That's it. Probably from here, maybe two miles. But at some point, as you got to Zealand, I mean, you're you're only a few hundred feet away from uh, Canada. So they're definitely, you know, so war patrol is definitely present around here for sure. Um, but over here, it looks like a little swampy area. Uh, and the nature center might be around here somewhere. But right now I'm going towards the cove area. I don't know, I forgot what it's called. But I'm going over here right now to the fishing area. So, 
this is this is actually a good place to bike as well um i think that was the biking lane over there but uh this is the fishing uh portion of the park they have a little uh thing where you can look out right there which is pretty cool and this little dock looks pretty new but just a great view in general and if it was the sunrise is probably gorgeous you know i would imagine so i'm walking back to my car now um that was lake erie metro park pretty much in a nutshell um, i wish i had more time to uh, spend here and describe uh, more but uh sun's going down and uh starting to get a little chilly and quite frankly my phone's running out of juice here so um but i mean i kind of take uh, like your metro park for granted and compare it to other metro parks and you know i kind of uh i am quite critical of this metro uh metro park because you know the basic amenities is all they have kind of you know like the I mean, they do have they do have a wave pool um, but in comparison to other ones uh it's just okay but i will say that it's definitely a metro park with an identity um it is the only metro park on lake erie uh and it, it's probably it's on the detroit river too and and it it's only one near down river in, in so to speak uh well that's not necessarily necessarily true either i guess but definitely uh definitely good for some people you know and it's you know something to do in this portion of the uh county so if you like my video uh subscribe um but i'm gonna head out of here and i'll see you on the next video